Good morning, Mike Troll, Amsoil Dealer 1463115. And today we're working on my 89 five liter Mustang convertible. Guys, we just got this thing running recently. Subscribe and go back and check out some of those videos. But what we're doing and what we do on this channel mostly is fluid changes with Amsoil. And so today I'm gonna be using the Z-Rod 10W30. This is a high zinc motor oil. And no, I don't really need it with the roller cam that's in this engine, but I look at it as it's an older car, extra wear protection can't hurt. As well as if this thing sits a lot, it's got the extra corrosion protection. And we're gonna be using the Amsoil EAO 15 nanofiber oil filter. It's 99% efficient at 20 microns. So the story on this car, it's got 260,000 plus miles on it. It was my first car. No, I was not the original owner. And it's had a pretty rough life. So since it's been sitting without running for three years, we're gonna go ahead and run the Amsoil engine flush. Even though it's got Amsoil in it already, we're just gonna do this to, um, we're just gonna do this to uh, ensure everything is nice and clean. So yeah, if you go back to my videos, um, you'll see that I was running the Amsoil 15W40 diesel and marine, heavy duty diesel and marine in here. And in some of my other videos, I talk about why I used to run such thick oil. I guess I came from the camp where thicker was better, and I used to actually run 2050 in the car, but uh, I've since changed my opinion, and uh, so I'm going down to the 1030, which is a lot closer to the 5W30 that this car recommends. But real quick, engine flush, not necessary, but this can be a good thing if you're unsure of the car's history. It's a detergent-based cleaner. It's not a solvent-based like kerosene or something like that. So it's technically safe enough to use every oil change, but uh, this is not a normal thing. This is a normal thing when I switch a car over to Amsoil. So now you just idle it for 10 to 15 minutes and then you do your oil change as normal. Let everything drain. And on this engine, we actually have two drain plugs. Thanks, Gabe, I'll take that. We actually have two drain plugs on this engine. So I'm probably going to jack up the car in order to make sure I get a good drain on this front drain plug. But, um, so there's our old Amsoil filter. And yes, I know, this thing is dirty, filthy, could probably use a good degreasing, but uh, it's an all original car from 1989. So it is what it is. It used to be my daily driver, but it's, it's not anymore. But uh, let's get this oil change going. Not a bad sounding car. Not sure what all you can hear. Guys, that's my Amsoil website. The links will be in the pinned comment. Check it out. So we've been idling about 15 minutes. And so we raise the back end because we want to be able to vary the uh, angle on the drain plugs, especially on that front plug. Gabe's gonna go ahead and shut down. All right, Gabe. And then we're gonna Start this oil change. We're going to drain everything out and let it drain extra long. Man, yeah, one thing I'd love to do to this car are some new headlights. I think that would really, really dress it up. One day, I think my game plan since day one, and I got the fender dent. Game plan since day one has been eventually to restore slash modify the car, but that's going to highly depend on the resources available as it can get expensive. Comment down below. I'm sure a lot of you have uh, put a lot into your cars over the years. So guys, you probably have a 7 8 drain plug on your stock Mustang, but I have replaced mine 
with magnetic drain plugs by Gold Plug. No, I'm not sponsored by them, but if they would ever want to do some kind of affiliate link, I would probably be happy to do that. These are super strong uh, neodymium magnets on these. And so these are really good in transmissions and differentials, transfer cases, because they're going to pull that iron out. And so, so there we go. I'll have to look it up on the Amsoil My Garage, but this oil has been in here probably over three years. Uh, the car has been down for a while. And uh, well, let's look at the magnetic plug. Doesn't look like much on there, probably just some residue. If I can get it in the frame here. Yeah, probably just some, some residue there. So, this oil probably only has a few hundred miles on it, too. I don't know. But uh, when the car went down, uh, this is what was in there. Never thought the car would be down this long. Don't forget your front drain plug if you have it, because there's probably, I don't know, half a quart in here. And so... I'm going to be putting new crush washers on these bolts. Alright, so let's see how much we get out of here. And I'll show you what I wiped, what I wiped off of that first plug and then what we end up wiping off of this one. I don't want to drop it if I can help it. There it is. Woo. Man, that plug is strong. I mean, it literally was sticking to the oil pan. Oh, I missed the pan here. But, so yeah, you see how much comes out. It's enough that you, you know, you definitely want to drain it. It's not insignificant. That's why I got the back end of the car jacked up so I can try to get everything out. Okay, so here's what came off of the rear plug, and then here's our front plug. And so you can see it's just a fine paste, but that is iron, uh, iron wear. Like I said, this engine has over 260,000 miles. Uh, I've owned it since 89,000 miles, and it's never had the valve covers off never had the timing cover off that I know of so uh, it's been a good engine and I've not babied it in my uh, in my younger days lots of hard running hard shifting it's had it's probably on its third uh, manual transmission but the engine engine itself has held up very well so anyway we're gonna change these these crush washers and we'll go ahead and get to work on the filter and let this thing drain as long as practical there okay so we got our fancy filter wrench which we might not even need but we're gonna go ahead and use it because um, I just do hand tight but but yeah there we go it's it's on there pretty good. And yeah, this engine could use some of the AMSOIL degreaser. But uh, we got tons of projects we can do on this car. But So guys, go to my web links that are in the pinned comment. And you can look up the AMSOIL filters and recommended products for whatever vehicle you have. And so it's also going to give you capacities. So, you know, especially if you got a 4x4 and you want to know, well, what fluids and what capacities for my transfer case, my differentials, all that kind of stuff. Number one synthetic.com is my link. And I will have uh, all these links in the pinned comment. 
All right, so we're trying to bring this filter down. All right, wow, that's hot. Even through the glove. And so, can't really see it. Ah, making a mess. Got the Amsoil EAO 15. This is your small block Ford oil filter. But yeah, like I said, go on my look up in the pinned comment or go to number one synthetic.com to get all your Amsoil products. Por favor. Thanks. That's good. So guys, these oil filters are capable of, this one's actually capable of 25,000 miles or one year. And uh, if you're using the Signature Series Amsoil, it is too, as long as you're doing all highway driving. Now most people fall under severe service, and so that's going to be 15,000 or one year. And I can assure you this Mustang is not coming anywhere close to that but I still want to run the best oil and best filter possible. And you got that silicone anti-drain back valve. You got the synthetic media nanofiber that is 99% efficient at 20 microns. So really good stuff. All right, I got my generic set of crush washers on Amazon. Bought this several years ago. It's good to have. So I got my bolts oh and by the way what are these for the mustang these are ap-01 gold plug goldplug.com so hopefully i can get in and figure out which ones i need for my transmission and differential for the fill plug and uh get those in when we change those we'll be changing those fluids coming up guys go ahead and subscribe and look for that all right so gabe's got the filter gabe here set that here and can you open up well we got to get it out of the plastic can you open up the oil now so yeah this is 99 percent efficient at 20 microns you got that silicone anti drain back valve and so Gabe's cracking open so that's a hundred percent synthetic and again if you want to run uh, 5w30 I would recommend the Amsoil signature series go ahead and pour that in Gabe if you're good with that just fill the whole thing yeah mostly and then we're gonna lube the gasket again this is high zinc so if you need high zinc check out the Amsoil Z rod. There's also a 1040, a 2050. There's diesel oils, there's racing oils. We got several options for high zinc as well as assembly lube and break in oil. But check my links, number one synthetic.com, in the pinned comment. All right, that should be good because we got it at a slight angle. Can you cap it? Put the cap back on. We want to keep that clean and then. Is your finger clean? Basically. Alright, go ahead and yeah, just do the uh, don't get any foreign material in that center hole because that goes right to the bearings. And this oil is filtered to two microns absolute before bottling, so that's the reason I can pre fill with confidence. Alright. Looking pretty good. Do you have to lubricate the you, gasket? Yes, you have to lubricate the gasket or you might not get it off again. Yeah. It might stick to the engine. Oh, see, we're getting a little bit. Because it is at an angle. And be super, super careful. Thread the thing properly. And you'll know if it, see how easy it's turning? If it's not turning that easy and nice, then it's not threaded properly. And so now you're just going to hand tighten it. And the new version of these, the ones you would order from number1synthetic.com are going to have a nice grip grip coating. This one's been on my shelf for a little bit, so it's uh, 
it's still a smooth variety. So I'm gonna have to put a rag on that to tighten it. But we're, we'll get it tightened up and we'll get these plugs in. Good. All right, filters in place. Brand new crush washers on the two plugs. And they're in place. So we hit everything with the Amsoil parts cleaner, cleaned it up. Here's what we're going to be using, the Z-Rod, like I talked about, excellent high zinc oil, corrosion protection galore. Now this is what's recommended. You go to my website, number1synthetic.com, get your signature series here. Uh, this is not a high zinc formula, this is a newer spec, you could use this in a brand new car that calls for 5W30. But yeah, check it out. Check out the lookup and see what's available for your car. While we're talking about Fords, this is a Ford Type F fluid. So for you guys with the older uh, Ford transmissions. Um, but this is actually what I'm going to be using in my power steering. Uh, subscribe. We'll be getting to that hopefully in an upcoming video. All right, so Gabe, what do you smell there? Does it smell good? Does it smell like <laughs> quality in a bottle? I actually have an Amsoil dealer, Charles Reed. You might have seen him on some recent videos. Uh, he actually signed up a, a shop or two in Plant City. And uh, his link to uh, his Amsoil website is qualityinabottle.com. And... Uh, he always said, you know, the stuff smells good. You can smell the, the quality additives in there. But, uh, it's good stuff. Alright, so while Gabe's adding the oil, and you're watching some exciting, rewarding oil pours, I'll share the verse of the day. So, from our sermon yesterday, uh, Jesus was saying that, you know, if you hear these words, if you hear what he's teaching and you do nothing with it, it's like a guy who built his house on the sand and, um, you know, the flood came, uh, his house did not stand. And what that's talking about is we've got to hear Jesus' words and put them to use. We've got to repent and trust him. And so the Bible tells us that we've all sinned against God, but Jesus has uh, paid the way for salvation, but he calls us to repent and believe. So that's the key there is uh, don't be one who, don't be just a hearer of the word, as James says, be a doer of the word also. Court three going in. Of course, that first one he was adding was the other partial court from pre-filling the filter. But in James, it also says uh, we could just pick on one sin, say uh, unrighteous anger. And James says the anger of man does not achieve the righteousness of God. And guys, I struggle with this every day as a professional truck driver. Uh, getting cut off, getting disrespected by the people that you share the road with is hard. I have to continually, Lord, help me. And, uh, you know, because if I get angry, there's nothing there that's that's godly. I should be uh, praying, praying for their safety and salvation and thankful that God has uh, given me the ability to control myself and drive that truck safely hi buddy all right buddy's been in a few videos so he's hanging out with us all right Jesse here go ahead and crack that open Jesse's gonna be our honorary oil pourer need me to... what's it smell it like, like smells like nothing huh interesting all right bud so aim for that yeah, yeah, get it in there. That's the good stuff going in. It fills up really fast. Oh, does it? Yeah, that's a small-necked 
small tip funnel, so it's so 100% synthetic, guys. A lot of your synthetic oils aren't what they seem. Um, there was a lawsuit back in maybe 99, and so synthetic, buddy, go ahead and add the whole, we gotta dump that whole thing in. And uh, so synthetic is, in some cases, little more than a marketing term. Um, so just be, just buyer beware on what a true synthetic oil is. Yeah, drop it in, we'll let it drain a minute. Awesome. All right, Jesse's got court number five going in. Yeah, I basically change my oil once a year with AMSOIL. Whether I'm doing, you know, I used to do 14, 15,000 a year on my 03 Accord. Now my commute, thankfully, is a lot less. All the way down to this car, which, you know, who knows if it'll even see a thousand miles a year. And if we do an analysis, we could probably leave it in longer. So we might even do that. So guys, since this motor oil is specifically made for classic cars, antique cars, I did not notice this yet. This is guaranteed for 5,000 miles or two years, whichever comes first. So like I said, this is not made for driving, you know, 25,000 miles a year. This is made for the classic car that sits a lot, but that when you do start it and run it, you want the protection of a high zinc oil but it's got the corrosion inhibitors. So they're saying right here on the bottle, two years, 5,000 miles or two years. So that's awesome. All right, guys. So I gotta, gotta fix my clutch pedal interlock switch, but anyway, this is how I'm starting it for now. First start with the Amsoil Z-Rod. Here we go. Oil pressure. Yep, we're looking good. See that oil pressure? So let's check underneath for leaks. Thanks, Gabe. Go underneath the car here. And how's our filter looking? I made a mess under here earlier, so in all that stuff I missed missed the pan apparently when I was draining but yeah we're looking good so we're gonna back down the ramps and uh, we'll check the level not yet but because we're gonna check the level and then we'll take this thing for a drive he's smelling he's mm. I know goodness gracious this is my dog so um alright we need to my dog. <laughs> Welcome, guys, back to the channel. I am I am the owner's son. I am filming for today. All right, Jesse, you gonna take a good video? Yeah, you I've started it. A little bit of outside, a little bit of shifting. Yeah, I can I just, see. You gotta hold that. No, 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 no. Okay, set this. This is my dog. But today, guys, we are going on an adventure in the Mustang. We're taking it for a test ride. We just put five quarts of oil in it. Welcome, there is no right, Jesse, Did you start it? Yeah. We're taking a test drive in the Mustang. We brought my dog, we have Gabe Troll, we have my dad, the Amsoil Tour, and we have me.
next time, like and subscribe. Links are in the pinned comment, guys. Check out Amsoil. I'd love it if you'd get it through me, through my links. Um, commercial accounts available. Wholesale accounts, all, all the good stuff. And uh, subscribe for more on the Mustang and more on, you know, we've got a Pilot, we've got an 03 Accord, and I'm sure there'll be other Amsoil stuff to come. Mike Troll, Amsoil dealer. God bless you. Guys, there's that mileage. You can add 200,000 to that. And uh, I'll put a link also to the Amsoil my garage and guys you can go on there and you can uh, you can go on the Amsoil my garage and create a free account even if you're not an Amsoil customer and you can keep track of all your vehicle maintenance not just oil changes so that's a nice feature too